Hotnings, Nastraya Chesiam. My name is Yuchsia. My English name is Lonnie Greninger. I'm from the Jamestown Sklalem tribe. I'm here with my new, I am Nastraya Che uh, from Nuke, Port Gamble, and Etwa, Elwa Klalem. That song that we came out to was the Sklalem paddle song, which was given to me in a dream this year. Uh, so it's, we're really happy to perform it for you at protocol this evening. Thank you.
Good morning, travel journeys. My given name is Alaikum. My English name is John Narakawa. I'm Klalam from Elwa. We're Klalam from Elwa, Jamestown, and Port Gamble. It's good to see you all early this morning. The songs we just sang is a Salmon Warrior song and an Owl song. Both songs were given to us by Akbar, Janet Cameron of the Macaw Nation. Want to thank each and one for taking the time out of your lives to be here to witness our work here this morning, raising our hands to our host for giving us the time today to share a little bit of who we are with you who we are as Nuskayan people, as Klalan people. Hartnison, thank you. ACM.
Good morning. My name is Joe Price. I'm from Port Gamble, Nukehit, Nukskayim. I want to raise my hands up to those hot and soon Thank you for everyone for being here this early in the morning. I know, I know our, <laughs> I know um, it's hard being here, but this is the way we've been taught. You know, we be here till the end. We stay till the end. We were here to witness this. Um, we're here to witness all of the songs and all the traditions that were being brought out our culture, our living culture. That last song we sang was a song that I brought out last year. It's called Flingeth Kwi Iam Team. We sing strong. And as the three bands together, we sing strong. So I want to raise my hands up to everyone here this morning. Hotness in the stretch. Oh, see him, see him, the shy chap, see him, my ex-tango. The next song we're going to do is called We Are One, a victory song that came to my aunt, Salayu Luana Arakawa. This song came to her over 20 years ago now, when the macaws got their first whale in over a hundred years. This song represents what Travel Journeys is all about. And if you know this song, we invite you down in the middle of the floor to unite as one, unite as one people, as indigenous people. Hotnins and thank you. ACM.
Sam, Sam, the Shy Chop, Sam, I want to raise my hands to each one that came out to the middle of the floor <coughs> to stand as one, recognizing our family elders that are here today, raising our hands to our elders for all their teachings and their guidance, raising our hands to our ancestors for handing down this way of life, what, is what they're calling the Shalangan what we call the Sachtang, our tradition. But at this time, we're gonna move into our gift giving. It was also brought to my attention that a drum was found Eugene Alphonse, Cowichan, your drum was found. So you know what that means. <laughs> Eugene Alfonso, if you're in the house, if somebody knows him, get a hold of him and he can't get that drum until he dances for it. but we'll hand that drum over to the host to take care of. But just to make that announcement, but once again, we'll move into our gift giving that our Klalam Nation is doing together this year. But thanking you all for your time once more as we continue on with our work. Hawkinson, thank you, ACM. Good morning, everybody. Morning, morning. No. Check. Okay, let's try this again. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> My name's Frances Charles. I'm the tribal chairwoman for Lower Elwa. We have uh, Russell Heffer, who's the vice chair that's in the house. And George Charles, that was here as well, uh, one of our council members. Joaquin and Anthony couldn't be present with us this morning. I really want to thank the host for calling upon us to come to your lands here and all of the individuals that are still here with us this morning. 
Anybody have coffee? Hey. And then uh, um, also our kids that are still here and our youth, our elders, and our veterans. If we could have our veterans stand up or raise your hands. Grandpa. really thank all of you for your service and, and your time that you had provided to our country here. If we could have a representative or a council member from Lummi Nation step forward. We have a gift here that we want to return back to Lummi Nation here. This was one in the 70s on a raffle. And they're very cherished with the individual that is from Elwa. She had won it, but she doesn't want her name mentioned. But we feel that uh, it should come back to Lummi Nation. It could either be used again or placed in the museum, but something to represent your community that was provided to the individuals that, they, that she had won, and she wanted to make sure that you guys had received this gift back that was gifted to her in a raffle. Lauren Solomon, it has names on there who had made these fish sticks. We also have a, a small gift of appreciation here for your council members that we would like to provide to your 11 council members that represent you. And with, with what our community is going to do tonight or this morning is we have these boxes here and we have some that want to go to your cooks and your volunteers. So you could make sure that your cooks and volunteers receive these appreciations and gifts that uh, we're really gratified for the work that they have done, not only for our communities, but the whole nation's communities here. Our hands go up to all of you for the work that you guys have accomplished here to make this successful as much as you have. And then with that, we have a, a few other um, gifts that we'll hand out, our youth will hand out, our community will hand out, and then we want to go ahead and turn this over to the other Clallam Nation for their presentation as well. Hotnitson. Oh, we have any skippers in the house? A couple of the skippers. And then a couple of the veterans. You can just sa stand and they'll um, provide you with a gift. Hotnitson. Gina Sinsak. My name is Gina Steiner. I'm with Port Gamble Sklalem. I'm from the Jones family. Um, I'm what you call a middle-aged person. I'm not young anymore, but I'm not an elder yet. And um, these last few years, we've lost um, several of our skippers, and they were our elder skippers. And this journey was particularly hard because we didn't have our uncles to guide us this year. And our Truathan family lost their skipper a few years ago. But we knew it was important to come because this is good medicine. And one of the things I realized is that it's not too late even for someone who's almost 50 to help revive our traditions and maintain our culture. We are industrious people. We always have been. And our primary gift tonight is representative of who we are as Northwest Coast Salish people. And 
Everything in this basket was made by our tribal members and donated. They all wanted to help represent us and show our love and gratitude to the Lummi Nation. We have things like a loom, we have cedar bark, we have a spindle whirl, we have a drum, we have a berry basket, we have sweet grass, we have an awl, and other things in here that we want to help perpetuate the teachings that we've been handed down. We have up and coming weavers. I just learned how to gather cedar bark for the first time this year. My sister is taking to weaving like a fish takes to water. We are thriving again and we need to, we need to keep our identity as native people alive and distinguish ourselves from others. But we have one particular gift here. We wanted to call out Lawrence Happy Solomon, particularly. We see Lawrence as a leader, and a cultural leader in his tribe, and a few years ago we got to know him as he, as he and others from Lummi paddled with us um, to Quinault, and we, we made a good friendship with him, so Hotmanson. So Lawrence, we're gonna, this is our basket, our big gift to the Lummi Nation. We're gonna leave it to you and other cultural leaders to distribute among your people who you, who you see fit to receive these gifts. And all of our other gifts are small gifts and we're gonna ask our royalty and our youth to distribute them in the audience. And again, 95% of our gifts are handmade. We have traditional medicines, we have homemade jam, we have canned and dried jerky and canned and dried salmon. All of the stuff was made and donated by our people for you. Um, we were very humbled when you delivered your invitation to us in person. I would think that my uncle would tell us that is the way you do things. That is the way you carry yourself with pride. That is the way you represent your people. And we appreciated that. And we are honored to honor your invitation. And thank you so much for having us here, Hotmanson. <laughs> One other piece of business we need to take care of, as you may remember, when we landed, we had the Klumachin and Dennis Jones and family who acknowledged the letter he got on the 30th anniversary of the paddle to Seattle from Emmett Oliver. And his family wanted to, to do their own um, recognition to the Lummi people. I'd like to ask George Jones and Kelly Sullivan and Jolene to come forward at this time. And we're not gonna, we don't, I'm sorry, we don't have a gift for you, but these are some of our, our people who were young and they were participating in the paddle to Seattle. And I'm sorry if I overlooked anybody, but if there's anybody in our canoe family who participated in the Paddle Seattle, would you step forward, please? And then if you paddle, good. And if you paddle, or if you were participated in the Paddle to Seattle, would you stand up? Um, my mom wanted to gift, gift the Lemmy Nation a carving that was gift, given to, um, given to us to present to your tribal council. And it was ba made by my father and Jake's grandfather, Jake Jones. And he passed away like about a, over a year ago now. And so his art, this is one of the last bigger pieces that he has. Um, I just wanted to thank uh, Northwest Indian College for giving my dad and recognizing his lifelong work in culture. He, he helped carve our Klumachin canoe for the paddle to Seattle and that was one of the nine canoes that was carved.
carved in Washington State. Um, so the, our young people are going to hand out a scroll that was a letter that's written by Emmett Oliver um, to recruit, trying to drum up interest for um, the paddle to Seattle. And my dad had a hard time getting people interested because it was so long and people forgot, you know, they didn't, we didn't have a canoe carver anymore. We didn't have pullers anymore. And so um, we just wanted to remind people of the heart of the paddle, you know, it, one of the things is to be alcohol and drug free and, you know, to bring people in a good, together in a good way. Um, I didn't want to say too much because we have other things to do, but I just wanted to share something about the, the artwork that was done by my father and then, um, The letter started by saying, it should be no secret that the spirit and momentum created by the recent gathering of canoes is slow to subside. Too much was gained to see that enthusiasm die on the vine with just hurrah without being converted into even more useful cause. The spirit we now share drives me to continue with something that was meant to have a great beginning. I am dreaming of a venture of much greater magnitude. There seems to be no turning back. The last part says, but you probably are saying this is a tough nut to crack. Fine. I thrive on tough nuts. The pessimist says the football is on the 50-yard line. The optimist says his ball is on the opponent's 50-yard line. You may share, duplicate, publish, and the contents of this letter in whole or in parts just so we do something. Jenny Kitzmiller, Sensna, Statitlam Nusklayamson. My name is Jenny Kitzmiller. I am Jamestown Sklalem. I come from the Kardongsky Cook family. Many people know me by my grandmother, Annie Balch. Many of our gifts that we have to present today are made from Devil's Club. I had the honor of meeting with um, Ruth Solomon, Leo Solomon, and Vanessa Solomon here in Lummi in April for a workshop creating Devil's Club beads. And I was taught the way um, that she uh, taught me, and I was able to share that with my canoe family with permission. And we have these Devil's Club sticks. These ones here are walking sticks that we harvested from Port Angeles, Washington. And our canoe family has woven them um, for handles and made some beads. These are to present to your tribal council and disperse to how you see fit. And we also have two walking sticks, one for your hereditary chief and another for a youth representative. Uh, the remaining gifts that we have, we have Devil's Club bead necklaces, which are a symbol of protection and strength. We have Devil's Club and nettle tea. We have Devil's Club drum beaters. And we have many, many wonderful gifts made by our tribal elders, led by Jeremy Munson. And uh, I would like to now hand the microphone over to our tribal council person, Teresa Lehman. Good morning. Thank you all for staying this long. Um, we at Jamestown, the Canoe family, and our tribal citizens wish to thank the Lummi tribe for their invitation. It's been, we know, it's been hard work for Lummi to prepare for this. You've all done a wonderful job. Um, they've 
learned well from their tribal elders and their ancestors. What I've also learned on my journey is that our tribal elders are our most valuable possession in life, and they're very precious. They have taught us everything. They've educated us, they've been mentors, they've been grandparents, they've been aunties, uncles, and this is what our youth today are going to be carrying on in their generation, but they will also remember that they had tribal elders who taught them respect, dignity, good work ethics, and also many of our tribal elders have been veterans, and I wish to thank all the, ve all the veterans, because if it wasn't for our veterans, we may not have the freedom that we have today. So please stand up, all of our veterans, please, so we can thank you. And one thing I, I think that is very important with our tribal youth is education. I've sat on the education committee in our tribe for over 30 years, and I just commented to somebody tonight that this year we have between seven and nine of our students graduating with masters. We are so proud of them because we have encouraged education. Our tribal council really believes in education and they can bring that back to their communities. If they don't bring it back to their tribe, they can bring it back to their local community and share it. And with our tribal use, one of the things that I also think is very important is volunteerism. That's how you start. You start at a young age volunteering. Uh, whether it's helping the lady next door carry in groceries, just, just, just volunteer, because that leads to strong leadership in our youth, and they will be prepared for the future to take over. Thank you very much. We have um, a few gifts for some of our um, citizens, but shall we do the bag first? We have, I'm gonna, bags for, and I'm gonna just name them off. Um, a Lummi elder male, a Lummi veteran, a Lummi youth, um, a cook, the cook, the hereditary chief, the head organizer and event organizer, uh, Lummi elder female, captain of the support boat for Lummi, leader of Lummi's singing and drumming, and the chief of police. Thank you very much for your hospitality. The food has been great and we've appreciated it. And I know that a lot of you have probably donated to the education program down at the casino like me and they appreciate that too. Thank you very much. Oh, see, um, while the remainder of the gifts we have left We'll sing a couple songs. Hey, Sia.
Yalo Yawalahua Sansna Cheehwa Ms. Glymanson. My name is Yawalahua. My government name is Elsie Miller. I am Ella Arms. <laughs> I'm Clallam from Ella. Um, back in 2000, um, excuse me. 
Back in 2007, when we landed here, I was pulling with the Skokomish tribe, and I walked the beach of Lummi, and I got something that hit my soul. It was telling me that I needed to go home. I needed to go home to Elwa. And when I came home, when I came home to Elwa, I was hit with a song. And for the past couple years, I've been trying to bring this song out. And with the help of Ashley, um, I'm, I've brought out the song and I have a dance for it. And we're going to do that tonight. Oh, Sam.
the name of that song is the Transformation Song. It is um, an orca whale transforming into a wolf and then back to an orca and then back to a wolf and then back to an orca. Thank you. Uh, CM, CM is Jalacha CM, CM na Ellis Downu, na Cleet Quenisquel, Hakwa Queen of Squell CM, the Kachnin, the Shwalakwat, the Tsao Lalo, the Tis Kuchil, Haichka CM, no Skyam, a Nuk Eid and Kachnin, Tis Kuchil CM, Haichka CM, the Quelia, Nish, and that talk we will eat Hungastal and Quelilash, eat Stalilam, eat Tiwia, the Tis Quichil CM. Friends, relatives, behalf of the Lummi Nation, behalf of our elders, I want to thank each and every one of you that are standing here this morning. Nusklayam, Lower Awa, Port Gamble, Jamestown. Standing together as one and showing each and every one of us here this morning that it's possible. I want to thank you with all of my heart for doing this on behalf of your elders that you see in front of you. We always heard the stories when we stood together as one. And tonight, this morning, you've showed us the stories that our elders talked about and that's something that we as the Lummi Nation are bringing back. Last year, paddle to Pialup, we stood as one. Tonight, this morning, truly grateful to see each and every one of you from the oldest to the youngest take part in travel journeys. On behalf of the Lummi Nation, we have gifts for each tribe. Wanted to share it with you and ask that you gift it amongst your members however you see fit. Thanking you for answering the call, the invitation to come be with us and celebrate travel journeys to share with us who you are and where you come from. Many of you are no strangers to me, my family, Lower Elwa, my mother, Brenda Charles, her mother, Viola Mike Kagi, my late grandfather, Laverne Charles, my relatives here, truly happy inside to see you this morning. Again, on behalf of the Lummi Nation, Sayutin, Plutz, and Aquilia, we raise our hands to you. Haichka CM. <laughs> Friends, relatives, Nuxklayam has one more song that they're going to share with us as they exit the floor. And turn the floor over back to our relatives. Haichka CM. Oh, CM. CM Nuxchai Chaks. CM Ayakhtangu. On behalf of our tribal leaders, our elders, 
our veterans, our youth, our people here of the Klalem Nation, we raise our hands to our host at Lummi Nation for your hospitality, for taking care of us so well. Not only Lummi Nation, but the nations that our canoe family visited along the way, nourishing the body, the mind, and the spirit. You know, as it was mentioned, coming as one, that's what Tribal Journeys is all about. To come as one, to unite as one people. For Lummi setting that example last year, their canoe families uniting as one. And for this year, our Klalams to unite as one to take the floor together. For our, our Native people, our Indigenous people to come as one, what Tribal Journeys is all about. It's time for our people to unite. Times are going to get more challenging out in this world. And it's us, Native people, despite where we come from, to stand as one. Because one way or another, we're related. Something our elders always taught us that we're related one way or another, we're connected one way or another. But I want to thank, want to thank our elders that are here with us from Elwa, Jamestown, and Port Gamble for staying this long. You know, it can be tiring for our elders, but you know, they have, they represent the strength of who we are. The true Klalem blood, the strong people, the strong people, that's who we are. But raising our hands to the host once again, thanking them for their hard work. It's nothing new to our people, to Lord Elwa, because we hosted in 05. But we'll exit off with our love song. But once more, raising our hands to the host, to the elders, the veterans, the youth, each and every one of you that stay till the end. Something that we're always taught, but raising our hands once more, hotnings and thank you. Hey, see ya.
Tribal Journeys 2019! <laughs> Thanking each one for your time witnessing our work on the floor, raising our hands to our host. That will conclude our performance here today. St. Hotnanson, thank you. Hey, CM.